Let's balance the redox reaction for Cr2O7 2 minus plus Fe2 plus. That gives us a Cr3 plus and Fe3 plus. We'll use the ion electron method and we're going to do this in acidic medium. First thing we need to do with redox reactions, write the oxidation number for each element. That looks like this. Now we can write the half reactions for the species of interest. Those are the ones whose oxidation numbers changed. That'll look like this. So for each chromium atom, we go from plus six to plus three. That means we've started the bigger number to a smaller number. We've been reduced here. We also have lost these oxygens, so that's reduced. For the iron, we went from two plus to three plus. So this is a larger number. We've been oxidized. We've actually lost an electron. That's why we've gone to three plus. So these are the half reactions. Now we'll balance each half reaction. Start with the atoms of interest. These are the ones whose oxidation numbers have changed. Two chromiums here, just one here. Let's put a two, iron, iron. That's good. Now we're going to balance the oxygen atoms by adding water to each side. So I have seven oxygens here. I'm going to need to add seven water molecules. Seven times the one oxygen. That'll give me seven oxygens here. Those are balanced. Nothing to worry about down here. There's no oxygens. Next up, we'll balance the hydrogen atoms by adding H plus ions, hydrogen ions. This is an acidic medium, so we'll have these H plus ions available. 7 times 2 is 14. Let's add 14 hydrogen ions. And down here, we don't need to worry about hydrogen. Finally, we'll balance the charge by adding electrons. If I have a 14 plus here and a 2 minus. And over here, I have a 3 plus. So we want both sides to be equal. So 14 plus and 2 minus, that gives us 12 plus. Over here, we have 2 times 3 plus, so it's 6 plus. If I add 6 electrons here, and I add up all of these charges here, I'll get 6 plus here, 2 times 3 plus is 6 plus. So that's the one that's kind of difficult. Over here, I have a 2 plus and a 3 plus, so let's add a negative charge, just one electron, and then that will give us 2 plus on this side, 2 plus on this side. So we balance the charge. Now we balance the overall equation for electrons. Then we'll simplify. If you think about it this way, these right here, these are the reactants. They're reacting and they're forming these here, the products. The reactants, I have six electrons. In the products, I only have one. So we're not balanced here. With redox, we're balancing both the atoms and the charge. Here's how we fix that. If I multiplied everything here, by six, the ratio would stay the same, but now I have six times one electron, six electrons here in the products now, and then I have six in the reactants. So I've balanced the electrons. At this point, we can add up the half reactions and simplify. So we have all of this, and then we have six times all of this. When we do that, here's what we get. So keep in mind, the top here, that's our reactants, and then the bottom here, those are the products. So we can cancel out things that are the same in the reactants and the products, like these six electrons here. We have it again in the products. Let's get rid of those. It looks like everything else is unique. So this is the balanced redox reaction for Cr2O7 2 minus plus Fe2 plus. Let me clean this up a bit. So this is our balanced redox reaction. If you add up all of the charges here, they should be equal. 14 plus is two minus six times two, that's 12 plus. And then down here we have six plus and 18 plus. So if you add all these numbers up, you get 24 plus down here, 24 plus. If you count the atoms, they're the same as well. And you know that you've done this correctly when the charge on each side is the same and the number of atoms is also the same. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for Cr2O7 two minus plus Fe2 plus. Thanks for watching.